Felix Arvid Ulf Kjellberg born in October 24, 1989 known online as PewDiePie is a Swedish YouTuber and comedian, known primarily for his Let's Play videos and comedic formatted shows. Born and raised in Gothenburg, Sweden, Kjellberg registered his eponymous YouTube channel in 2010, primarily posting Let's Play videos of horror and action video games. His channel experienced substantial growth in popularity over the next two years and he reached 1 million subscribers in July 2012. Over time, his style of content diversified to include vlogs, comedy shorts, formatted shows, and music videos. Kjellberg's channel became the most subscribed on YouTube on August 15, 2013, but after he publicly vied for the title with T-Series in 2019, it currently holds the title of the second most subscribed, albeit remaining the most subscribed operated by an individual. Kjellberg had the most viewed channel on YouTube from December 29, 2014 to February 14, 2017, and the channel currently ranks as the 19th most viewed, and the 6th among those operated by an individual. As of December 2020, his channel has over 108 million subscribers and has received over 26 billion views. Kjellberg's popularity on YouTube and extensive media coverage have made him one of the most noted online personalities and content creators. Due to this audience and media attention, his coverage of indie games has created an Oprah effect, boosting sales for titles he plays. In 2016, Time magazine named him one of the world's 100 most influential people. Early Life and Education Kjellberg was born on October 24, 1989, in Gothenburg, Sweden, where he was also raised. 4-5 He was born to Lotta Christine Johanna, née Hellstrand, born May 7, 1958, and ULF Christian Kjellberg, born January 8, 1957, and grew up with his older sister Fanny. His mother, a former chief information officer, CIO, was named the 2010 CIO of the year in Sweden. His father is also a corporate executive. During his childhood, Kjellberg was interested in art, and has detailed that he would draw popular video game characters such as Mario and Sonic the Hedgehog, as well as play video games on his Super Nintendo Entertainment System. During high school, he would skip classes to play video games at an internet cafe with friends. He then went on to pursue a degree in industrial economics and technology management at Chalmers University of Technology, but left the university in 2011. While it has been reported that he left Chalmers to focus on his YouTube career in 2017, Kjellberg clarified that he left because of his lack of interest in his course of study. He expressed that, in general, leaving university to pursue a YouTube career would be stupid. Kjellberg has also discussed an enjoyment of Adobe Photoshop, wanting to work on photo manipulation art using the program rather than be in school. Following this passion after he departed from Chalmers, he entered Photoshop contests and almost earned an apprenticeship at a prominent Scandinavian advertising agency. He was also interested in creating content on YouTube, after not earning the apprenticeship, he sold limited edition prints of his photoshopped images to purchase a computer to work on YouTube videos. Internet Career Kjellberg originally registered a YouTube account under the name Pewdie in December 2006 while still a teenager, he explained that Pew represents the sound of lasers and die refers to death. After initially forgetting the password to this account, he registered the PewDiePie YouTube channel on April 29, 2010. The PewDie channel later became active from January 2012 briefly serving as a second channel, before it was abandoned years later. Following his exit from Chalmers, his parents refused to financially support him, so he funded his early videos by working as a harbor captain, selling prints of his Photoshop art, and working at a hot dog stand. Kjellberg stated that the ability to make videos was more important to him than a prestigious career. Five years later, Kjellberg recalled, I knew people were big at other types of videos, but there was no one big in gaming, and I didn't know you could make money out of it. It was never like a career that I could just quit college to pursue. 
it was just something I loved to do. In his early years as a YouTube creator, Kjellberg focused on video game commentaries, most notably of horror and action video games. Some of his earliest videos featured commentaries of mainstream video games, including Minecraft and Call of Duty, although he was particularly noted for his Let's Plays of Amnesia, The Dark Descent, and its related mods. Starting on September 2, 2011, he also began posting weekly vlogs under the title of Fridays with PewDiePie. 9 By December 2011, Kjellberg's channel had around 60,000 subscribers, and on May 9, 2012, it reached 500,000 subscribers. Around the time his channel earned 700,000 subscribers, Kjellberg spoke at Nonic Conference 2012. July 2012 saw his channel reaching 1 million subscribers, and it reached 2 million subscribers in September. In October, OpenSlate ranked Kjellberg's channel as the number one YouTube channel. Kjellberg signed with Maker Studios in December, a multi-channel network, MCN, that drives the growth of the channels under it. Prior to his partnership with Maker, he was signed to Machinima, which operates as a rival to Maker. Kjellberg expressed feeling neglected by Machinima, and frustrated with their treatment, he hired a lawyer to free him from his contract with the network. Early in his YouTube career, Kjellberg used jokes about rape in his videos. A satirical video mocking Kjellberg's content highlighted his usage of such jokes. Shortly after, Kjellberg attracted criticism and controversy for the jokes, and in October 2012, he addressed the issue through a Tumblr post writing, I just wanted to make clear that I'm no longer making rape jokes, as I mentioned before I'm not looking to hurt anyone and I apologize if it ever did. The Globe and Mail stated unlike many young gamers, he listened when fans and critics alike pointed out their harmful nature, and resolved to stop making rape jokes. Kjellberg's oldest video available for viewing is titled Minecraft Multiplayer Fun. Uploaded on October 2, 2010, the video is noted for containing mainly Swedish commentary from Kjellberg, rather than the English language he would later employ in his videos. The video has amassed over 14 million video views as of May 2020. His early content mainly consisted of Let's Play styled videos. On these videos, Kjellberg has stated I was so shy back then, and added, it was so weird to me, sitting alone in a room talking into a microphone. That was unheard of back at the time. No one really did it. Fridays with PewDiePie is a notable set of videos uploaded by Kjellberg towards the beginning portion of his YouTube career. The series was a weekly deviation from the Let's Play videos that formed most of his content output at the time, and often featured vlogs and Kjellberg completing viewer requests. Many of Kjellberg's most viewed videos are highlight compilations of his Let's Play videos. Point one of these compilations, a funny montage, was uploaded in June 2013 and spent a considerable amount of time as Kjellberg's most viewed, with publications citing it as such through 2018. Minecraft series and hiatus 2019, present. On April 9, 2019, Kjellberg announced that he would live stream exclusively on streaming service DLive as part of a deal with the company. On June 21, Kjellberg launched Gaming Week, during which he would focus on uploading Let's Play videos every day for the first time in several years. Among the games played were Minecraft, which he surprised himself by enjoying. Kjellberg largely centered his videos around Minecraft in the following months, with the content featured in his series Meme Review and Wii also becoming focused on the game. Although he had played Minecraft earlier in his YouTube career, he had very rarely played it in the following years due to his reluctance to join the trend of Minecraft YouTubers, whom he felt only played the game because of its popularity rather than for their enjoyment. This transition was largely successful for Kjellberg who received a large increase in views, achieving over 570 million views during the month of July, the most views received by the channel in a month since at least October 2016, and his daily number of new subscribers growing from 25,000 to 45,000 during that month. Despite this success, 
Kjellberg insisted that he played the game for his enjoyment and did not want to become solely a Minecraft YouTuber, stating if Minecraft gets boring, I can just move on to other things. On August 25, Kjellberg became the first individual YouTuber to surpass 100 million subscribers, his channel was the second overall to reach the milestone after T-Series, who passed the mark earlier in the year. YouTube tweeted a congratulatory post to note the occurrence and awarded him a red diamond play button. In October, Kjellberg stated in a video that his YouTube content, as well as content related to him on other websites such as Reddit, had been blocked in China. He explained that this was due to his comments about the 2019 to 20 Hong Kong protests and an image of China's paramount leader Xi Jinping being compared to Winnie the Pooh shown in a previous video. In December, Kjellberg was acknowledged as the most viewed creator of the year, with more than 4 billion views in 2019. In December 2019, Kjellberg announced that he would take a break from YouTube the following year, and deleted his Twitter account because of his dissatisfaction with the site. Kjellberg began his hiatus on January 15, 2020, and returned on February 21. In May, he signed an exclusive deal to stream on YouTube, as the platform was enrolling high-profile streamers to rival competitors like Twitch and Mixer. At the time of signing with YouTube, Kjellberg had amassed over 800,000 followers on DLive, but due to his deal with the former, and not having streamed on the latter in four months, TubeFilter noted that it was unclear if Kjellberg was still affiliated with DLive. Style Early in his career, Kjellberg's content mainly consisted of Let's Play videos. His commentaries of horror games made up his best-known content during this early stage, although he eventually expanded into other genres. Unlike conventional walkthroughs, Kjellberg devoted his Let's Play videos to communicating more personally with his audience. Variety detailed that Kjellberg acts like he's spending time with a friend. He begins each video introducing himself in a high-pitched, goofy voice, drawing out the vowels of his YouTube moniker, then delves into the videos. Known for his idiosyncratic sense of humor, the nature of his video content has been described by various outlets as goofy, energetic, and obnoxious, yet genuine and unfiltered. Lef Grossman of Time noted that he's totally unpolished, but at the same time his timing is consistently spot on, adding that most of the critical literature about PewDiePie focuses on the bad language and crude physical humor, and admittedly there are a lot of both, and the fact that he is, at the end of the day, just a guy playing video games and yelling. Rob Walker of Yahoo wrote Kjellberg's chosen mode of sharing his critique happens to be ribald entertainment, an unmediated stream of blurted jokes, startled yelps, goofy voices, politically incorrect comments, and pretty much non-stop profanity. Occasionally, Kjellberg resorts to just gameplay, resulting in silent or emotional commentary, his playthrough of The Last of Us, was detailed to leave the usually vocal gamer speechless at its ending. With his channel's growth, Kjellberg's content has become more diverse, in addition to traditional Let's Play videos, he has uploaded content including vlogs, comedy shorts, and formatted shows. Kjellberg has also uploaded music onto his channel, often accompanied by animation, fan art, or live footage. Oftentimes, music videos uploaded onto his channel is collaborative in nature, as has worked with artists such as the Gregory Brothers, also known as Shmoyaho, Boyina Band, Rumi, and Party in Backyard. Thank you friends I hope I shared maximum information. Thanks for watching this video.